Felicia Ortega. Good morning. Good morning. Who's Felicia? Me. She's Felicia. Felicia. And you drive the car? No, no. she just doesn't speak any English. Oh, you're going to help so her? So I'm going to help her. All right, can we get close to the mic, please? Yes. Yes, what is your name? I'm Aaron Al Gonzalez. I'm on the air also. <laughs> oh, you are? I am. Okay, she's, uh, Felicia's charged with going through a red light on Roger Williams Avenue and Elmwood Avenue. So would you ask Felicia if she drives a, an Infinity? Speak into the mic, please. Speak I'm into sorry. the mic. Oh, her son, she's saying, that drives the infinity. All right, so <clears throat> but the car's registered to her. See, that that he throw, and then, ah, yes, right. it's registered and to she's her. she's responding on behalf of her son? Ahora te estás respondiendo para el hijo. Sí. Yeah. Now, ask if her son gave her the money. El hijo tuyo te dio el dinero. No. No. How old is her son? ¿Cuánto años tiene? 26. He's 26. 26? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He no working now. I have problems with him. Wait a minute. I'll get to it. Here's the deal. You're here. Your son's 26. He's not working, and he sends you to court. Where is he, sleeping? No, I have problems with him. Se operó una mano. Tiene una operación en la mano. He had a hand operation, so. Yeah, so where is he right now? Sleeping? She's represent. Está durmiendo. Sí, porque tiene una operación en la mano, no tiene una semana que lo operaron. Oh, yeah, he has, like, recently, they just operated him less than a week ago. On his hand? On his hand. How many weeks ago? Not, less than a week. Less than a week. Open heart surgery, you walk around in three days. <laughs> <laughs> Inspector Quinn, your son's 26 years old, right? He had his hand operated on, he sent his mother down, he didn't give her any money for the ticket. He was driving the car. He called, Your Honor, he couldn't do to the bandage. He couldn't put his hand into the pocket <laughs> to get the money to give to his mouth. Oh, oh, I see. The bandage would have rubbed against his... He couldn't fit it in the pocket to retrieve oh, the money I to get it. to his I mouth. Got I got it. Uh, well, that makes sense to me. <laughs> so what, if anything, does she want to tell me about these violations? <laughs> No, que, que, que lo baje el ticket, que lo baje el ticket. Que, she que said if there's pagarme. anything you could do, she did, sorry. she's okay. sorry, but she, if there's anything you can do for her. You know, <laughs> I've been on the court for a long time. Mm -hmm. I can't, can't tell you countless, countless numbers of mothers yes, come here. I can imagine. For their sons <laughs> and daughters. Oh, no. And it just amazes me. Your Honor, if I may, the city would have no objection to uh, allowing her some time for the swelling to go down so <laughs> her son can put his hand in the pocket to retrieve the money for that violation. Yeah, that is claro. Que no le importa si que le den un chingo de tiempo que esa es la para él buscar en el bolsillo. All right. <clears throat> Uh, tell Miss Ortega, her son owes her $85. Good luck. Okay, thank you. So Miss Ortega thinks that because her son had surgery on his hand, that's a serious enough injury for him not to come to court? Hmm. Let me see if I agree. We've had people show up who had recently lost their fingers, who were sucking on oxygen, nursing a bullet wound. We even had one guy show up missing part of his skull. So does a boo-boo on the hand qualify as a good reason not to come to court? Oh, hell to the no. Get your butt in here. Ralph DeMarco. Morning, sir. Good evening, Judge. You have a speeding charge. Do you wish to pay $50 on that today, and you want to come back and have a trial on it? I'll plead guilty with an explanation. There's a couple of things that I thought were unfair. I received my ticket on the 22nd of January, and uh, I questioned the accuracy of those cameras. That's uh, the, the speed. Uh, the I think I was 32 miles. I uh, was uh, my speed. And what happened was, was they've moved the signs that uh, were telling you that there were cameras in place. They've moved them twice since I got my ticket. What I did was I drew it. Uh, diagram here. I was in Walmarts, and I came out of Walmarts, and I didn't go Silver Spring. I went up Commodore Street, and I went down Lombardi Street, and I was on Charles Street, and I took a right. But there was 
no sign here. The camera was located here. So you're, you're alleging that there was not proper notice exactly. in accordance with the provisions of the statute. Exactly. Now, the next question is, right, I would ordinarily dismiss the case on that basis, but now I have a threshold question I have, that I have to resolve in my mind. Okay. Do you know what that threshold question is? I don't know, Judge. It's, what, it's whether I believe you. Um, you, now, I know you're not going to say, don't believe me, Judge. Or okay. I, you're going to say, don't believe me? I, I have one other piece of evidence that I can prepared. offer, okay? I don't want to mention his name, but he works for the city. <laughs> he works for the city. And Mr. DeMarco. Works. Mr. DeMarco. Yes. <laughs> Close the file. All right. <laughs> we don't want to see that name. I don't want to say that name. Close, close the file. It's, Inspector Quinn has a breakfast appointment tomorrow morning. He wants to be, he wants to be, able, right, he wants to be sure whatever. he can make it, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you what we tell first-year law students. Go ahead. When you win your case, keep quiet. and Don't talk anymore. Okay, okay? I, I ain't saying another word. Anything else you want to say? No. All right. The fact of the matter is I do believe you. All right, okay? you're right. And ev Thank you. Evidently, the fact that they then moved the sign afterwards. Twice is, after. Is, is convincing evidence that they knew they made a mistake. Yeah. So on that basis, the matter is going to be dismissed. You're all right, Judge. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck to you. All right, my and, friend. Thank you very much. And Your Honor, the credibility. Did, he, did you ever lie about your age? Uh, Come on over. Once. Yeah, of course he lies. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.